everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to go over the covers that I'm going to use for my 2023 planners. I filmed a video for my 2023 planner lineup so you could check that out first. In this video I'm just going to talk about the covers that I'm going to be using so let's just jump right into it. So the first cover that we can go over is the Hobonichi Weeks. Let's zoom in. For the Hobonichi Weeks, you might notice there's a glare on it. That's because I have the clear cover by Hobonichi on this one. This is the only cover that I'm going to use on this. I find that this works fine when I throw it in my purse. I really just use it to protect the cover because the cover of the Hobonichi Weeks is kind of like a linen type cover that gets dust on it. So I don't want that to happen. That's why I use the clear cover, but it doesn't add any bulk to it. So it's still thin enough, small enough that I could throw it in my purse. So that's what I have for the Hobonichi Weeks. Let's go to the next one for the A6 Wonderland 222. I have this planner that I got off of Amazon. It is by Seven Felicity. It's a company that I had never heard of before, but I searched for Moterm covers for A6 and this company came up. I was looking for a yellow cover and this showed up in my in my recommended list on Amazon, so that's why I picked it up. It has a snap closure. It, I got the yellow croc cover. It has these pockets that I don't decorate, but it has pockets on the left hand side and then on this side it has a zipper and this secretarial pocket and this pocket right here. Again, I don't really use the pockets. I don't decorate the pockets. It makes it kind of bulky to write on. So um, this is what I have my Wonderland 222 A6 planner in. Let's go to the next one. The next one is this cover for my B6stology. This is a cover by Paper Bound Creations on Etsy. I got the rainbow glitter cover. I love it. I absolutely, absolutely love it. The glitter is not showing as well on camera as it is in person. It is shiny and it has like a little bit of a texture to it. So let's see, this is what it looks like when you, let me zoom out, open it up all the way. I like the gradient of the glitter, of the rainbow glitter. It does have a band closure and then has these pockets, a pocket here and this scalloped pocket here and I slid both sides of the book in and this is what I have my B6 allergy in. Now I am currently using a paper bound creations planner cover for my B6stology. This is what it looks like. It's pink and has the rainbow glitter down the spine, which I like, and rainbow stitching, which is a good detail. And I will say that, how should I say this? Okay, so the B6stology starts out really thin, but mine gets chunky. This isn't even as chunky as it gets. Let me get the one I used for the first half of the year because this one got super chunky. And this one I had a Moterm cover and it had enough room to grow. Again, I don't decorate my pockets or anything, so it's plain, but there's enough room for it to grow in the Moterm cover. And I find that to be the case in the Paper Bound Creations cover too. There's room for it to grow and there's still room around here that it could get bigger if I wanted it to. I say that to say that when you first put in the Stalogy notebook, there's going to be a lot of room. You could see around the side, there's a lot of room around here. But for me, that's good because I like to chunk up my planners a lot and this gives it room to grow. I have another planner from Paper Bound Creations. This is the pink croc faux leather planner cover in A5 size. Um, let's see. It looks like this, very pretty. I love the quality of it too. 
So this is what I'm housing my Hobonichi cousin full year in. So the full year looks like this. There is some room around it to chunk it up, which I won't do because I'm just gonna use pen and paper for this planner. But it has a scalloped pocket here, a secretarial pocket here. I slid the book cover into this pocket here. I like to slide both sides of the book into the planner cover. That's just my preference. And then it just has this back pocket here that I slid the book into. But again, there's plenty of room to chunk it up if I need to. Otherwise, it fits perfectly fine in this planner cover by Paper Bound Creations on Etsy. So wait, yeah, I have three covers by her. So we have this one, this glitter rainbow, and this pink one with glitter rainbow. So cute little company. These are handmade planner covers, by the way. Um, cute little planner shop that I found on Etsy. And next we are going to go into the Erin Condren Petite Planning System, which I don't have it in the cover yet. I just placed them, the books inside. This is the Petite Planning System, the daily planners. And it comes with this Traveler's Notebook style cover and the floral design. This was the only design they had for the books and the cover together, so that's what I got. I like the design but I'm a bit over florals because I used the Erin Condren Daily Duo this year that was also floral so I have had a lot of florals lately and I'm a little bit more into brighter colors now so these are muted it's pretty it's just not necessarily my vibe but I'm still going to use it because it came with the planners and it has these strings that you could just slide in the planners like that. And it has four strings for all four books or you could customize it. Um, I have a notebook that I'm also going to use with this. So that's what this cover looks like. This fits their petite planning system. They have other covers that I'm not going to buy them because we'll see. We'll see how this works. The next cover is this Hobonichi cover that I got from the Hobonichi store last year. This is, I forget what this cover is called, the design. Um, let's see, it doesn't say, it just says classic fabrics. Classic fabrics is what it says inside by Hobonichi. And this is what it looks like. I have the cover and a plastic cover on cover to protect the cover, if that makes sense. So the cover on cover has this little pocket on the back so you could reach the pocket that's on the actual planner cover, which is cool. Let's close that up. It has two pin loops. It has these strings that I'm not going to use, but in here, I have my Hobonichi Cousin Avec and the Moxie Life Planner Companion Notebook for the first part of the year. So I'm going to be using these two together in the same cover. This is how much room is in it. And I'm excited to get to use these together. So we have the Hobonichi cover and I'm going to switch out the Moxie Life books as I go through them because there are four books total. So I'm going to switch out this left hand side book once each quarter is over. So we have the Hobonichi Cousin of the Moxie Life, and the Hobonichi cover. Let's see, that is, that is it. The last planner that I'm using is this Happy Planner that doesn't need a cover. Um, Happy Planner does sell covers to put their Happy Planners in, but I don't need one. So, Let's see, that's all the covers I have. The biggest star of this um, video is the Paper Bound Creations Planners that I just, I absolutely love. Absolutely, absolutely love. And yeah, 
that is all I have for you today. That's a quick video, but thank you so much for hanging out with me as I share my planner covers with you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.